Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to unbreak your OnePlus 9, OnePlus 9 Pro and OnePlus 9R phones using the MSM download tool. Apart from that, you could also use the MSM tool to perform a downgrade or simply flash a firmware or if you're looking to go back from a custom ROM to a stock ROM, then also you could use the MSM download tool or simply if your phone is currently heartbreak and you cannot access the OS or the fast boot mode or the recovery mode, then also you could use the MSM tool to unbreak your phone and get it back to life. So on that note, let me show you how this could be carried out. Do note that the process will wipe off all the data from your phone. Although you will not be able to take a backup, but still I am telling you that the, it will wipe off all the data. So make sure if you could take a backup, if your phone is currently up and running and you are using this guide simply to flash the stock firmware, then please take a backup beforehand. On the other hand, if your phone is currently bricked, then you will not be able to take a backup. So anyways, with that said, let us now get started. So first and foremost, you will have to download the MSM tool for your phone from here. So simply go to my guide and get hold of the tool for the, your phone. As of now, I'm using the OnePlus 9 Pro MSM download tool. So go to this link and download it from here. You could download any of these version depending on the region. Once you have downloaded the MSM tool, extract them onto your PC and then let's get started. So guys, first and foremost, you will have to download the Android SDK platform tools. Now this is only required for those user who could currently access the OS. In other words, if you are planning to flash the firmware for downgrade purpose or from going to a custom stock ROM or such task that involves the interaction with the OS, then in that case, you will have to download the SDK platform tools and extract them onto your PC. On the other hand, if your phone is currently in a heartbreak state, then you don't need this file. For heartbreak state, we only need the MSM tool and we don't require the platform tools. But if you want to flash the firmware and you could currently access the OS, in that case only, download and extract this tool. But if your phone is currently heartbreak, then we don't require this and we could skip this step as well. So in my case, my phone is currently in a heartbreak state and I cannot boot to the OS. So I will not require this section, but if you want to require, if you want to flash the firmware, then please get hold of the tool from here. Anyways, moving on, you will now have to disable the driver signature enforcement on your phone, on your PC. This is required so that Windows does not conflict with the ideal drivers or the Qualcomm HS USB drivers. So let's now disable the driver signature as well. For that, you will have to go to the start menu, then press and hold the shift key. While doing so, hit the restart button and your PC will then boot to the Windows recovery environment. From there, you will have to choose the troubleshoot option, then select advanced option, then select startup settings. And from there, you will have to press the 7 key or the F7 key. As you could see in the order, it's the 7 key. So press and hold the 7 or the F7 key and it will then disable the driver signature enforcement. Once that happens, your PC will automatically re reboot to the OS with the driver signature disabled. Once that is done, we could now easily install the EDA drivers without any issues. So let's now proceed ahead to get that job done. So now let's install the EDL or the Qualcomm HS QSB QD Loader 9008 drivers. This is the entire name of this driver. So we'll now have to install them onto your PC. For that, first and foremost, use the Windows X shortcut keys to open a menu, then select Device Manager. Now let's open the device manager in the backend and expand the port section. Our phone will be visible here once we have installed the EDL drivers and once it's connected to the PC via the EDL mode. So as of now, my phone is not in the EDL mode and we have not installed the EDL drivers. So it's not showing here. So let's keep it minimized and now install the Qualcomm QSP UD drivers onto our PC. So for that, there are two approaches, either the automatic approach or the manual approach, it is recommended that you first try out the automatic approach because it's quite easy. So get hold of the EXE file from here. For most PC, it will be the 64-bit architecture. So get the EXE file. And once you have got the EXE file, simply double click to launch it. So just a minute, let me show you. So launch the, set, set, launch the setup file and then click on yes in the pop of that appears. And in the first screen, it will ask for the network type. So select the WWAN DHCP, then click on next and again click on next. And then in my case, I've already installed the drivers. So I'm getting the screen. 
in your case you will get something like this let me show you so you will now have to hit the install button and once the driver side was installed you will get the install complete so hit the finish key and then it's highly recommended that you restart your pc once so once the restart is complete please verify that the driver signature is again disabled if that is not the case then please again disable the driver signature enforcement and only then move ahead with the next step so i am again repeating once you have installed these drivers verify if the drivers have been disabled or not if that is not the case then you will have to once again disable the driver signature enforcement and get the job done so moving on we have now installed the drivers as well as disable the driver signature enforcement and let's now verify if the drivers have been installed or not for that the only way out is to boot our phone to edl mode and if our phone is being shown as qualcomm hs usb qt loader then this signifies that the edl drivers have been installed and likewise it also signifies that we have disabled the driver signature enforcement on the other hand if your phone is being shown as qhs usb bulk then it means that the drivers have not been installed or if your phone is being shown as qualcomm hs usb qt loader but with a yellow warning sign then this signifies that the drivers have been installed but the driver signature is not turned off so you will have to turn it off once again so let's first verify the status in our case so for that we will have to boot our phone to edl mode now regarding this there are quite a few approaches if currently you could access the os then you could use around three different methods to get this job done the first one is using the adb command it's the adb reboot edl and your phone will boot to edl mode then on some rare phones you could also use the fastboot commands and boot your phone to edl mode then if your phone is currently rooted by magisk you could also use the magisk tap on the reboot icon and select reboot to edl but in our case since it's currently hard break these three methods will not work so we will have to use the hardware key combination do keep in mind if your phone is currently hard break then it might already be in the edl mode but if it, it is not the case then let's get this job done right away so in my case my phone is currently powered off but it's not in the edl mode so as you could see from here so i will now boot my phone to edl mode and verify if the drivers have been installed or not so let's keep this device manager open now what you have to do is plug one end of the usb cable to your pc but do not plug the other end of the usb cable to your phone so leave the other end empty now what you have to do is press and hold the volume up and volume down keys on your phone and while holding both this key plug the other end of the usb cable to your phone and you will hear a sound on your pc and your phone will be shown under the port section once that happens you may leave the keys and as you could see our phone is shown here under the qualcomm hs qsb qd loader so we are now good to go ahead so let's now move ahead with the next step in our case our phone has been shown as qualcomm hs qsb qd loader so this signifies that our pc is able to read the phone in edl mode but if your in the device manager if it's showing a yellow warning sign then you will have to disable the driver signature enforcement once again on the other hand if it's showing as qhs usb bulk then in that case you should once again try installing the drivers but this time around you will have to manually install the drivers so get hold of the drivers from here and extract them onto your pc you could extract them anywhere you want and as you could see i've done the extraction over here and this, this is the entire driver folder so make sure to extract the driver folder once that is done go to the device manager right click on your phone and as of now if the drivers are not installed it should be shown something like this qhs usb bulk so right click on it and select update drivers then select browse my computer for driver software then hit the browse button click on next then choose the qualcomm driver entire folder you would have to choose the entire extracted folder and not any single file yes please make sure to select the entire folder once you have made the selection click on ok and then click on next and you might get a prompt so click on install this driver software anyway and with this the drivers will be installed once the drivers have been installed you should now get the qhs usb bulk your phone should now be shown over here as shown in the screenshot so again i am repeating if it's showing as qualcomm hs qsb loader then the drivers have been installed successfully and no further action is ne needed from your end on the other hand if it's shown as qualcomm hs qsb loader with a yellow warning sign then you will have to 
टर्न ऑफ द ड्राइवर सिग्नेचर इन्फोर्समेंट फ्रॉम हेयर फ्रॉम माई गाइड और इफ इज शोइंग एज क्यू एच एस यूज बी बल्क देन यू विल वंस अगेन हैव टू इंस्टॉल द इडियल ड्राइवर फ्रॉम दिस गाइड वंस यू हैव चेक मार्क ऑल दिस रिक्वायरमेंट लेट्स नॉ प्रोसीड है विद द नेक्स्ट स्टेप एक्स्ट स्टेप यू विल नॉ हैव टू मेक शोर टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द एम एस एम टूल विच वी हैव डाउनलोडेड इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप सो इन माई केस आई एम यूजिंग द वन प्लस नाइन प्रो एम एस एम टूल लेट मी शो दैट सो दीज आर द फाइल्स ऑफ द एम एस एम टूल फॉर द वन प्लस नाइन प्रो सो मेक शो टू एक्सट्रैक्ट दम टू यू पी सी वंस दैट इज डन जस्ट मेक शो टू री वेरीफाई दैट यूर फोन इज बोटेड टू इडियल मोड एंड इज बी शोन एज कॉलकॉम एच एस यू एस पी क्यू डी लोडर वंस दैट इज डन यू कुड नॉ मूव अहेड एंड स्टार्ट द फ्लैशिंग प्रोसेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ लेट्स लॉन्च द एम एस एम टूल एंड क्लिक ऑन द यस इन द पॉप ऑफ विंडो दैट अपियर्स it will take a few seconds to load so let's just wait for the time frame and then we will move ahead with the next step so it's preparing the file now click on next in the first pop that appears and as of now you could see our phone is not connected so i'll show you once again how to boot your phone to ideal mode at this stage as well so for that if your phone is currently in the ideal mode it should be shown here as connected as you could see in my case let me show you the screenshot is shown as connected and the com port on the other hand if your phone is currently not showing here then it will not show under the com section as well so let me once again boot my phone to ideal mode just to repeat what you have to do is if your phone is currently powered off then simply press and hold the volume up and volume down keys while holding both the keys simply connect your phone to the pc by usb cable and you will get a prompt and as you could see it's now connected and you could now start the flashing process just click on the start button and the flashing will now start it will take up to a few seconds for the device to be read and once the reading is done it will then start flashing the files and the flashing will take up up to around 10 to 15 minutes this is completely normal and nothing to worry about the super.img file takes the maximum amount of time so let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll be back so guys as you could see we are now getting the download complete message in the msm tool and once that happens your phone will automatically boot to the os you don't have to do anything manually from your end so in my case the entire process took around 170 seconds but this 373 seconds sorry but this time frame might vary in some cases i have seen it could take up to even 600 seconds that's completely normal and nothing to worry about moreover in case of the oneplus 9 series you will be booted to the oxygen os 11 based on android 11 that's not an issue at least you could now boot to the os and you could now easily install or update to the latest firmware if you want you could either install the ota updates or you could directly install the android 13 fast boot rom as well i have made a separate video and a guide on how to flash the latest android rom on your oneplus phone using the fast boot command method or you could also use the ota method moreover the first time after flashing the unbreak firmware using the msm tool the phone will take up some additional time frame to boot up this is completely normal and nothing to worry about from the subsequent time it will not take that much longer so it's completely normal let's just wait for a time frame and i'll show you the boot up screen as well it's just for the one time delay and as i have told you before all the data from your phone would have been wiped off so you will have to set up your phone from scratch so as of now it's in the boot animation screen so the entire process might seem like a bit tedious and complicated but that is not exactly the case the only thing worth keeping in mind and the thing which might lead to issues is the driver installation in most cases i have seen that the pc is not able to detect the device in edl mode or the qualcomm hs qsb qd loader mode if that happens in that your case as well and you have installed the drivers both the automatic and manual method then in that case you should try using a different usb port and please use the usb 2.0 port only apart from that try changing the usb cable and hopefully your phone should be shown as qhs usb qd loader on your pc anyways as you could see we are now inside the os and we could now proceed ahead and carry out the setup process as of now i am skipping the initial setup and take you to the os so it will only take a few seconds let me skip this as well and i am skipping this for now 
and with this we are done with the process so and as you could see we are now inside the os and it's running the android 11 build let me show you it's the oneplus 9 pro 5g android 11 version so guys on that note i round up this video just to repeat apart from fixing the hardware issue you could also use the msm tool to flash the stock firmware if you want to do a downgrade you could also use the msm tool likewise if you want to go from the custom to stock you could also use the msm tool in that case as well in case you could access the os then you could boot the your phone to edl mode using any of these methods via the ED, fastboot command adb command or magisk but if your phone is currently heartbreak then you have no choice but to use the hardware key combination which involves using the volume up and volume down keys so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching